The first part of the procedure is mobilization of the left colon. The layer of superior hypogastric plexus is carefully preserved. The avascular layer between the mesocolon and the retroperitoneum is precisely separated. High ligation of the inferior mesenteric artery is conducted. The inferior mesenteric vein is ligated at the same level. The left mesocolon is further mobilized. The hypogastric nerves are identified and carefully preserved behind the left sigmoid. The prehypogastric nerve fascia is incised and opened between the hypogastric nerves to enter the presacral space. A vascular presacral space is dissected as caudally as possible by sharp dissection. Lateral attachment of the left colon is dissected. The left colon is fully mobilized up to the splenic flexure. Next, the procedure moves to nerve preserving pelvic dissection. The whitish connective tissue on the autonomic nerve is carefully preserved to avoid nerve injury. Always keep precise and sharp dissection just between the yellowish mesocolon and the whitish connective tissue on the nerves. Good counter traction is the key for successful sharp dissection in the pelvis. After preserving the S3 and the S4 splanchnic nerves, the end pelvic fascia is dissected and the surface of the levator muscle is exposed. On the anterior side, again, the whitish connective tissue on the seminal vesicle is carefully preserved. Behind the seminal vesicle, the neurovascular bundle is identified. The neurovascular bundle is carefully preserved with the covering whitish connective tissue. As the dissection goes distally, the neurovascular bundle approaches medially.
This is the most distal part of the rectum. The prostate is exposed and the neurovascular bundle further approaches medially. Intersphincteric dissection starts from the dissection between the pubococcygeal muscle and the rectal wall. Posterior to the rectal wall, rectococcygeal muscle is divided. Careful attention is needed to avoid rectal wall injury. Puborectal muscle is located in the anal canal inside of the pubococcygeal muscle sling. The dissection goes inside of the puborectal muscle, separating the intersphincteric plane. This is the anterior view after dissection. The neurovascular bundle is completely preserved. The rectourethral muscle is continuous from the rectal muscle and attaches anteriorly behind the distal prostate. Puborectal muscle is located inside of the pubococcygeal muscle. Intersphincteric plane is located inside the puborectal muscle. This anatomical understanding is very important for precise intersphincteric dissection. If you go outside, you may injure the external sphincter and cause severe incontinence. The procedure moves to anal approach. Rectal lumen is closed by purse string sutures. Mucosa and internal sphincter muscle are inside just above the dentate line. You can easily get into the intersphincteric plane, which was already dissected from a laparoscopic approach. On the anterior side, you see the pink rectourethral muscle and the whitish perineal body behind it. After completion of the dissection, the speechman is retrieved from the anus. The anastomosis is completed with 16 vertical mattress sutures.